Hello and welcome to Video Ask. My name is Susie and I'm going to give you a quick start tutorial of the Video Ask web app so that you can get started and create your own. First up, this is your workspace. It's what you'll see when you first log in. Here you'll be able to access your account settings, including things like your organizational details, billing, and setting up notifications. If you're part of more than one organization, you can switch that here or here. If you need help with the product, click here to access our help center or contact the support team. To create a video ask, click here. Give it a name, add a video, and choose an answer type. You can click or drag to add a new step. Or if you don't want to start from scratch, try one of our templates. You can edit your video ask here. Click on a step to change its settings or swap out videos. Need to edit your video ask settings? Click here and change things like the language, branding, and colors of your video ask. When it's all set up, you can preview your video ask here. From your inbox, you can connect to other tools, get your sharing link, and check out your sharing options and embed options. Once you have a solid collection of video asks, you can start organizing them into folders and drag and drop to move your video ask. New responses can be seen in the interaction feed or in the video ask inbox. Click through to see each response or see responses based on each step in your video ask. You can also add tags to your responses and then filter them by clicking here. Under metrics, you'll be able to see the performance of your video ask including how many people interacted with and completed it. You can also see a drop-off analysis per step in the Video Ask Builder. You can download all of your responses to a CSV or Excel file or export media files by clicking here. To send a video reply to respondents who've left contact details, hit the reply button. Here you'll see your contacts directory, where you can view and edit the contact details of anyone who's left their information when responding to your video ask. You can also send a direct message to your contacts from here. If you need to find a response, you can search video and audio transcripts, contacts, or video asks here. Need to remove a video ask, response, or contact? Click these three dots to delete a video ask you no longer need. So now that you've learned the ropes, it's time to get started with video ask.